Welcome back to another episode of 40 Facts About the 40K Universe. I am your host, Gershwan, and today we're going to be talking about how a Chaos Space Marine can be possessed by a demon. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. We post Warhammer 40K lore videos every single day, and if you have any suggestions, please comment down below. But with that said, let's get into 40 Facts on the Possessed. The Possessed, also known as the Possessed Chaos Space Marines and the Second Born, are those Chaos Space Marines who have forsaken their humanity and given up their souls and bodies to the Chaos Gods. Their bodies have been possessed by a Chaos Demon who keeps its human shell alive using the energies of the warp. The origin of possessed Chaos Space Marines within the history of the Imperium remains murky at best, and information remains scarce. Only on a single piece of parchment crafted from human skin which can be found only in a forgotten library within the Eye of Terror. The foul heretical words are written in blood. This same parchment explains how demon forms materialized within the bodies of a band of word bearers, the so-called Galvorbak. Yet their acts and deeds are lost amidst tens of thousands of years of bloody warfare. Likewise, a single venerated bronze plaque deep within the sacred halls of the Adeptus Custodes, which is tended to by an auto-cantillating servo skull, tells of noble warriors who fell to these same demon-possessed traitors within the dark days of the Horus Heresy. These are the earliest fragments of knowledge that concern the first possessed Chaos Space Marines, but their heinous deeds soon become all too familiar. One of the first recorded incidences of the raw potential for violence of the possessed occurred on Potomac's Eleven. The Night Lord Warband veered out of the Eye of Terror to raid the city's treasury and reclaim the treasures of the Black Claw. Among the Warband, eight possessed fought with a ferociousness and rabid violence never unseen in the subsector, let alone on the planet. With the possessed at the front of the attack, the Night Lords punctured the city's defenses with raw, demonic fury. The possessed smelled out the planetary governor, Aang Mantral. Ransacking his mansion, it was those eight warriors who slaughtered all of his bodyguards and his administrative menials. With fevered delight, the possessed seized the Black Claw and the Night Lords vanished into the Eye of Terror once more. Only bodies and nerve-shredded menials were left in their wake and the planetary governor's skinless corpse stood in the place of the Imperial Banner. Later raids, including bands of the possessed, became more frequent. By the middle of the 32nd millennia, there were scarcely a star system that did not suffer the brunt of the warp-born chaos incursion that featured the possessed. As the ruinous powers seduced more chaos space marines into offering themselves as hosts for demons, the possessed became more firmly established among the chaos warbands in Legion. Their depraved and loathsome acts grew to become frequent sights across the galaxy. The possessed soon stood at the very front of each chaos assault. With their demon-enhanced senses, they navigated the violent tides of the Immaterium, guiding chaos fleets out into the mortal realm to embark upon a reign of terror. At the deformed hands of the possessed, the structures and settlements of the Imperium suffered greatly, and their foul deeds have become infamous. During the events of the Fifth Black Crusade, while the Imperial forces battled against Abaddon's relentless assault, a flawless host warband led by squads of possessed tormented the Agri world of Galvin II and IV. Not only did they smash their way through Imperial defense emplacements, hopefully undermanned as Abaddon's forces kept reinforcements from reaching the beleaguered world, but they went on to massacre the population of several cities in a horrific violent fashion. They raided temples and sacred shrines, leaving with powerful artifacts requested by Abaddon. Not satisfied with their hull, before the flawless host exited the planet's orbit, they destroyed its shipyards and major manufactorums, delivering a critical blow to the Imperium during a dark hour. In the shrine slums of St. Harold, an enormous horde of Crimson Slaughter Possessed spread great devastation. The demon space marines came from out of the dawn sky with no warning. Great winged, ribbed horned, and bentacled monstrosities clad in crimson ceramite. The reshaped creatures proceeded to pillage the city's temples, committing acts of violence with lustful savagery. 
members of the ecclesiarchy, were slaughtered in the cathedral-lined streets. Senior ministerium priests were impaled on sky-puncturing spires. Others simply fell to their knees and babbled litanies of faith. They were swiftly beheaded by the monstrous claws, the expression on their rolling heads, forever agog at the horror before them. The horror of these events was accentuated by the tendrils of the immaterium that leaked through in the wake of the crimson slaughter's attack, manifesting around the corpses of the slain and causing their blood to drip upward like a red rain in reverse. It is worthy of note that the possessed are involved in a disproportionately larger number of atrocities involving the ecclesiarchy. Some suggest that so powerful is the devotion of the possessed to the ruinous powers, that their anger is focused on those most likely to speak against their foul gods. Along with the unnatural and debased augmentations, a possessed gains heightened senses. As a consequence of his enhanced perception, it is able to track its prey across ashen wastes or through toxic swamps. When one finally gets close to its prey, be that in the front lines of battle or a stealthy assault deep behind enemy lines, the possessed unleashes the full force of a demon within. Any weapons that the Chaos Space Marines once carried have long been discarded, for a possess has little need for the conventional tools of destruction. A possess stands ready to rip its foe limb from limb with newly sprouted claws and barbed appendages. The forms of the possessed are boundless, but the mutation they undergo are not limited to their physical form. Their former personalities are also subsumed, giving rise to an increasingly inhuman behavior. Whatever sentience the Chaos Space Marine displayed before possession by the warp entity, whoever strode into battle with this bolter roaring, is forever lost to the immaterium, for their entire mind has been surrendered to the demon. Only a dark echo of the original essence remains. Those Chaos Space Marines who were of a more devout nature end up slaughtering their foe while still screaming the name of their gods. These possessed are relentless hunters roaming ahead of their traitor brethren. When they kill, such is their devotion to the ruinous powers that their victims are often arranged into ritualistically significant contortions or have heretical runes carved into the bloodied foreheads, the possessed chanting debased litanies all the while. Chaos Space Marines, who were sadistic killers in their previous existence, are transformed into frenzied and uncontrollable slaughterers. They fight with wild abandon, gleefully carving wide, bloody paths through advancing infantry, delighting in the carnage they bring. After they have been bond with a demon, the possessed will still march to war clad in the same color as the warband or legion in which they previously fought. They can often be found fighting alongside others of their possessed kin. It is thought that this is simply because such formations of Chaos Space Marines are more effective in battle or perhaps they share some more bestial pact mentality. Perhaps the most potent form of the possessed are those raw few champions of chaos who seek to prove their ultimate devotion to chaos by allowing their forms to be possessed by one of the entities of the warp. These individuals enjoy a more symbiotic relationship with their possessing demon and are present day equivalent of an ancient Galvorbak of the Wordbearer's Legion the first of the space marines to be possessed by the demonic entities. While space marines are favored as host by the entities of the warp due to their impressive resistance and robust constitution, they are not the only beings who can be possessed. Such is the nature of a demon that they can possess any living being with a soul. Such a joining of being is called a demon host. In its long career, the Ordo Malleus has encountered orcs, squats, herds, and many other types of beings serving as demon hosts. The only exceptions are those of the Tau and the Tyranids. The Tau are believed to be protected from possession by their low psychic presence and rigid philosophical adherence to the greater good, while the hive mind of the Tyranids is powerful enough to keep any intruder out of its multitudes of bodies. Of course, as the majority of the Necrons lack souls, they are also immune to possession. It is suggested in the copy of the Hereticus Demonica, held within the vaults of the Ordo Malleus, 
that there exist several methods through which the demon may materialize within the body of a space marine. One of the few rituals known to be detailed in the Forbidden Volume, and certainly the most common method through which the Chaos Space Marines may become a possessed, is the rite of the reshaper. The ultimate stage of this blasphemous ritual is performed by either a dark apostle or a sorcerer skilled in communing with the creatures of the warp. However, before either can conclude the ritual, eight worthy and potent blood trophies are required to be taken by the Chaos Space Marines who seek possession. These specimens may range from the intact corpse of a prized Eldar seer to the head of an Adeptus Astarte warrior. It is said that the Chaos Gods whisper the names of sought-after victims into the heads of the Chaos Space Marines, and that there exists some order of preference in the business of possession. Accordingly, a Chaos Space Marine who seeks the blessings of a particular god may hunt out appropriate victims to please the deity. Consequently, those who seek possession by demons of Nurgle ravage plague planets for rancid trophies. Likewise, those who wish for the demons of corn seek out the vilest murderers in the galaxy. The Heretica Demonica suggests that each possession is unique with its own particular trail of blood. A Chaos Space Marine who seeks out a demon may travel for years to find the correct components for the ritual. Scouring planets, boarding long forgotten ships, and uttering corrupt hymns as he disembowels those who protect his target. To celebrate his depraved progress, the Chaos Space Marine engages in orgistic feasts at tables with ransacked castles, with only the bloodied corpses of its previous occupants for company. It is a path of excess and slaughter, yet ever craving a demon. The Chaos Space Marine remained focused on his next debased act. Fanatical and devoted to the cause, only he will know when he is ready to complete the ritual. The final step of this path often takes place in the location of a former atrocity, though it does not need to have been one conducted by the traitorous warrior themselves. The site is often an execution ground for rogue psychers, or a former battlefield where the air is thick with the wails of the dead. The harvested trophies, the most powerful of which will always remain alive until the last possible moment, are then laid out on the ground, forming eight points of a blasphemous sigil. As the sorcerer or dark apostle conducts the dark rites of the reshaper, uttering foul litanies, the living trophy is killed by the wipe of a warp blade across its throat. Standing amidst the thick gout of blood, the Chaos Space Marine, seeking possession, will press the tip of the tainted blade into his own armor and flesh. His skin itches beneath its ceramite shell. His body throbs with pain, his mind aches under the scrutiny of a thousand rolling warp forms each competing to conquer his flesh form and alter it. As the ritual of reshaping concludes, the marks of the demon begin to manifest, tendrils, curved horns or wings all dripping with gore. The possessed rises, forever changed by the powers of the warp. Demons are only able to exist in the material realm for a short time, unless they are bound to a mortal host. While a demon might be able to terrorize a city or even a world while bound within a human host, a Chaos Space Marine provides a demon with the means to endure indefinitely outside of the warp, inhabiting the body of a perilous killer with the means to cause immense damage across numerous Imperial worlds. Therefore, a Chaos Space Marine is a highly prized vessel for the horrors of the warp. These warriors prove to be hardy hosts and can endure mutations and torment that would easily tear apart the weak flesh of an unworthy cultist. To harbor a demon within, a Chaos Space Marine must prove his unflinching loyalty to the Chaos Gods. Yet service alone is not enough to warrant possession. The destruction of flesh and soul are acts that are expected of any individual in the service of the ruinous powers.
It is not unknown for a demon to be banished from the mutated form of a Chaos Space Marine. The reason for this are always unclear, but it is seldom long that such a prized vehicle for carnage stands empty. When a demon is banished, other creatures from the warp jolts to occupy the former possessed. The strongest demon burrows into the Chaos Space Marine's physical form and reshapes his flesh in hideous new ways. There is nothing that the Chaos Space Marines can do to influence this. All the while his mind howls with the pain of a new possession. His skin shudders as a new demon's grip closes once again on his form. But these are pains to be relished rather than just endured, for the possessed knows his form is becoming faster and stronger, gaining sharper senses still. On rare occasions, a possessed space marine may be void of a demon for a sustained period of time. Whether this is because they have not caused enough mayhem to satisfy their patron gods, or for some other reason, remains a mystery. Once empty of a demon, a second born becomes a husk of his former self, weaker in battle and craving to be a vector for the power of the chaos gods once again. Some have even been known to reattempt their original rituals and continue to stray throughout the galaxy in search of ways to bring back their former powers. And those were 40 facts on the possessed. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, share it with your friends on Facebook, Reddit, whatever social media you guys use. And uh, don't forget to thank our patrons on Patreon. It's because of them that we can do this. Link in the description if you guys want to support. But with that said, I'll talk to you tomorrow. This was Gersh1 with One Mind Syndicate signing out. Ha <laughs> ha!